What's up guys over at Doom Clan? I am the man behind your kill cam, the one, the only, that smokes a wreck, giving you guys Doom Phasm's 233 and 2 domination gameplay on the map Yemen. This is the second round of his gameplay. He also got an 82 gun streak with the M27 and a couple other weapons. And if you don't believe me, then well, I guess I should just ask Jay Nassi and Coldside to upload the you know unlisted video of the full 12 minute gameplay. And since Doom was so nice to me, they knew that a single commentator with a single topic could not talk for 12 straight minutes about utter bull crap. So they let me commentate the second round of this gameplay, which is really impressive because this is where he gets the ball rolling from 100 kills all the way up to that 200 plus. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. He actually uses the M27, which I really believe is sort of like a bridge between the assault rifle and SMG categories. I mean, you have a lot of great weapons in the assault rifle category, don't get me wrong, including, but not limited to, the M8A1 and the AN94, and the submachine gun category is always overpowered. But the M27 is one of those weapons that I really feel is very underrated and, and is very powerful, and Phasm makes slight work of these enemies, as you know, you're going to see and have seen for the past, I don't know, 1 minute 30 seconds. So anyways, guys, I might as well get into my commentary topic this way into the video. And that is the new personalization packs that have just came out if this video is being uploaded and you're seeing it on July 23rd. Yes, indeedy, folks, six new personalization packs have come to Black Ops 2. And that really made me beg the question of how much money Treyarch is earning from this game. Because when you get a franchise like Call of Duty or one of the EA Sports franchises like Madden and FIFA, you have to wonder how much money do people drop on this game. And I can go on and on about it, about you know what you could have bought with the money you spent on Black Ops 2, but I'm just going to give you some rough estimates, some rough numbers, and basically what the typical person paid for a single copy of Black Ops 2. So, obviously, as you guys know, the sticker price for Black Ops 2 is about $60 plus tax. Obviously, we're not going to account for tax because tax is a bitch to calculate and I'm not going to do it. So, after you get Black Ops 2, you obviously have to get the season pass because if you're a YouTuber like me, you have to upload gameplays of the new maps to keep that steady flow of viewers and subscribers in because who doesn't love those hashtag subs and views? So, that's another 40 bucks right there, but if you decide to buy all the DLC separately... That's about, I don't know, 50 bucks. So basically you're saving, you know, 10 or $15 buying the season pass. Then after that, you have to go through all the microtransactions. Now, I only purchased one personalization pack, and that was the Benjamins pack because, well, I like money. Who doesn't? So why not put it on my gun? But I know a lot of people who actually purchased every single personalization pack known to mankind from the first pack to the viewer's choice all the way up to the new ones, which include the Aqua Pack, which, which looks absolutely sick, and the Pack-a-Punch Pack, which also looks pretty cool. And that equates to about, oh, I don't know, probably like $40, $48. So, at the end of the day, the typical purchaser of Black Ops 2 probably spent, oh, I don't know, $158 on this game if they purchased every single little thing about this. And if you multiply that by all the people who bought Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which is probably about, oh, I don't know, a couple hundred million, you basically got a billion dollar game on your hands. I mean, seriously, love this game or hate it, Treyarch has made a ton of money on this game, and I would not be surprised if Call of Duty Ghost took the same route they did in terms of the microtransactions, you know, where you can get, like, gun skins and whatnot. So, that's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed my commentary, basically exposing how much money Treyarch has made, because, oh my god, it is so crazy. Obviously, if I do another commentary on this, I'll expose what you could have actually bought for that. But for now, I hope you show some love, drop a sub on this channel for Doom Clan, as well as my own. I have a new episode of Mystery Box where I use random classes on my videos and review them. It's back on my channel. It's the 15th episode. I hope to hit 2K very soon. I am that smug Sorak, and you're not. And as always, guys, stay smug.